Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Nara, and in this video, I'm going to check out. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is actually my first official comeback as a carrot, right? Uh, so as you can see that from the title, yeah, I'm reacting to their latest Japanese um, MV, Ima. Even if the world ends tomorrow, tomorrow, it's tomorrow, right? <laughs> One minute. <laughs> Let me confirm that. Yeah, even if the world ends tomorrow. Yeah, so that uh, this is like their Japanese. the latest japanese album i assume because it has like lot of songs uh like previous uh, songs which are in japanese as well and uh, songs that are in korean and they made a japanese version of those as well i have not heard the album yet but uh, yes i am going to check out this mv oh yeah oh, that was that was jongwon's voice right This is their um, little Japanese album which came out. Japanese JB best album, always yours. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I think it is that al album. I think. Anyways, who was that? That was Jonghan who started. Who is speaking? I think. Okay. Anyways, this is seventeenth. I'm gonna just say Ima because that would be a big word. Big. Big name to say every time I I refer to this song, so I'm gonna react to Seventeen Sima. Wait 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 wait. Why is it lagging? It was Jung Han. It was Jung Han. Morning. Oh, that is such a Japanese, uh, you know, rock, uh, song, anime, anime type of anime intro or outro. Mostly, it would be intro. I like Sun Gon's voice there. Who's he? Boku wo kimi no tame ni nani ga dekiru. Wait 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 that was a good transition i didn't even notice You will be safe here. I didn't hear DK sing. I spoke too soon. <laughs> I think I mentioned this before as well, right? When DK sings, right, he sounds so full, man. I I just can't like. He has like such a beautiful voice. I'm 
I've seen that somewhere. Wow, I was wondering where is Mingyu? Okay. Man, the production in this MV, I didn't, I didn't touch upon it. Bad luck today. Do it now. Ah, okay. So like what I was saying, like the production in this movie, I didn't mention this in while I was doing the MV, right? But wow, the set design and everything, top notch. I like really went hype. Pledis really went, you know. And I think I like the message in the song that they are giving, right? Uh, so, like, what would you do if the world was, you know, you know that world is about to end tomorrow? I don't know, man. I would have so many regrets, so many regrets, like uncountable number of regrets. Like, uh, one of those regrets would be, obviously, that not knowing what I would have done if the world didn't end, what I would do in the future. But like how I will be in the future, I would never get to know that. That would be one of the regrets. And uh, second regret would be me not being able to meet BTS um, and my favorite K-pop idols in general. My goal is to meet every single K-pop idol that I like, and that includes Seventeen as well now. And these are the guys who made this song, so all the more reason for me to you know, if I get ever get a chance, I really do hope they come to India. Or at least I get a chance to go abroad and, uh, you know, see this, see the concert. I know g getting, uh, uh, what to say, getting into fan signs and stuff is pretty hard. Because I've experienced, not experienced, I mean, I know, like, because obviously with the popularity that they have, it will be really hard to, and you have to, you would have to ha have to spend a lot of money for that. I don't have that luxury. But even if, if at least, like, you know, like far back seat in, in, in their concert, I'd still be happy. One day, definitely one day. And yeah, that was uh, Seventeen's Ema, my first ever Japanese comeback. I know this is not like their Korean comeback, so I cannot say this is like an official comeback. But still, Japanese, you know, they, um, this like goes uh, toe to toe with ja Korean Korean comebacks, right? Japanese comebacks are also as important as Korean comebacks. So, so. I kind of like that my first comeback of theirs is Japanese. Um, so yeah. I know, I think I heard somewhere that they are going to make a comeback in uh, October. I, I'm i not sure how credible that news is. If you guys know, let me know. Um, before that, at least I have to watch all of completely all of their MVs that are uh, up until now, which have been released. So I really hope I can complete that before their you know, before their next Korean comeback or their official comeback, you know. Yeah. That is all. And uh, this, is a, this song is a banger. Although I don't like to listen to this type of music in general. This rock, uh, rocky type music, like the band, rocky band music, right? I don't listen, typically listen to these type of songs. But this could be an exception or... Uh, yeah, exceptional exceptional songs like uh, a few MVs which I watched, right? Uh, uh, which I watched, or uh, for example, if I even if I watch some animes, right? Like uh, uh, the intros, the more I listen, I start to like uh, those uh, musics. Even many uh, like uh, anime intros have these kind of uh, Japanese songs, right? So obviously, but I wouldn't go out of my way to search for these type of songs 
like uh, uh you know that's why but yeah anyways that's beside the points this was a really solid mv with you know great visual storytelling and uh, the lyrics were obviously awesome huh. i'll catch you guys in the next one